Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to start a new mini franchise mode series. And I hear you think, Lady, another tropical zoo? Yes, another tropical zoo, because I absolutely love the tropical biome, just the most of all of them. But this one is different from our other franchise mode series, as this is a tropical zoo located in Africa, which also means we are only going to add African animals in this zoo for a change. This is going to be like a mini series, but not only that, I also want to put myself up for a challenge, which means we are going to try and build these habitats as tiny as we can make them, which is hard because, you know, this is franchise mode and not sandbox mode. So we obviously still need to make sure our animals are going to stay happy and healthy in their habitats and make sure that we won't see any protesters around the zoo. So yeah, very exciting stuff. So please do make sure to leave a thumbs up under this video if you are excited for this new series. And of course, make sure to subscribe, of course, if you are new to the channel. Now, as you can see, I did already put down a few things like only some pathing and and i mean seriously we know by now that you need to add all these like staff buildings right as this is going to be like this this mini zoo i already tried for the very first time to draw out a little map uh, to see where I want to put everything. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work, but that is why I already know kind of ish that I want to have like this staff area right over here. And of course, right over here, let me show you. I already uh, spent half of my money as we started with like 40k and now we only have 20k left, but it's fine. It's fine because we are going to start with some meerkats, which are already bought. So they only cost some money, so I did not spend any conservation credits. So that should be good. So now right over here, what I want to try and see, um, because we cannot spend too much money. We still need to build like a habitat for these guys, but we also need to get something going, right? Uh, so let's see, because if I would... Shall I just start with the, with the habitat first and then see how much money I have left and then maybe we can earn a little bit more money so we can build some uh, facility buildings for our guests? Uh, like if you're wondering what this is, I, I want to have like a little entrance right above these three paths right over here. So this is like the main path going towards the entrance and then we're going to have like this really tiny little plaza right over here. And then we go into the zoo on the right and to the left side. And uh, then uh, like a restaurant and some toilets and maybe some shops right over here. Information stands and also a toilet right over there. Something like that. But as you can tell, this is going to uh, cost us a lot of money. So, uh, okay, I, I think I should just draw out. And, and first, like, as I said, like, I want to go... I might want to add the artwork too, by the way, but I, I'm not entirely sure about that because uh, the size. So, okay, let's see. I have six adults. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many mm, per uh, offspring, number of offspring per mating event is like three to six. So, okay, that is, that is going to be a thing because... I have six adults, so so very easily they would be getting maybe like 12 babies at the same time or something like that. So I feel like 350 square meters should probably do the trick. Uh, so let's see if I can build a habitat that is not bigger than that.
So right now this habitat is 570 square meters, uh, but obviously we are going to use a lot of details and stuff. So I'm definitely going to reduce that a lot. And uh, I do want to add maybe some bits or like planters and rocks and stuff on the edges. So I think at this point, 572 is probably the right size for now, uh, which we are going to reduce a lot. Um, so that means that we can now add some stuff in our zoo. So we're just going to hire one of each i think we also need a security guard uh vendors we do not need yet and a veterinarian uh i do not have any work roster or work zone in here so we are going to add our first work zone which is going to be as always the everything work roster and we are going to add our staff into the oh wait select it all everything work roster like that so now that we have our first staff, we can actually move our meerkats all into this habitat, which is a good thing. Actually, I did not even spend too much because it's only <laughs> just fences. But hey, don't worry, you guys know me. We are going to spend a lot of money very soon. Now, this is obviously going to be like a, a closed off viewing gallery for our guests. So right now I'm just going to add a few donation boxes around here because we obviously do not want to miss out on any money Woo! as soon as our guests come in and go and watch the cute little meerkats. We are going to add the education sign right over here and we do want to add like the speaker all for now temporarily. Uh, I cannot even select that just yet. But that is fine. Uh, I do want to add the conservation bins. Uh, they look absolutely fantastic. I'm not entirely sure yet what color I want to paint them. So I think for now, I'm just going to use the green ones. But I might change that later on as soon as we have like the first building style going on in here. Uh, some benches and stuff we definitely also need at some point. Okay, let's have a look at some buildings. We can unpause this right now. Let's see, guest facilities. So I actually never really made the restaurant building, but where are you? <laughs> I actually do not know. Oh, wait, there you go. The restaurant building would be pretty big. But I, I think it might be cool to have a restaurant building in stat this time just to see how that would go and then have like a little seating area on the side. But it is 15,000. Oh my gosh. I, I am actually black. <laughs> I'm actually so glad that I did not uh, put this one down. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> it's raining again. Uh, I'm actually glad that I did not put that one down just yet because 15,000 is a little bit too much for now. So for now, I do feel like we should just go for uh, just some normal shops instead. So if I would want to go for a food stand, then I would probably go maybe just some hot dogs and just put them down right over here but then these are definitely temporarily because i really want to build a restaurant building right over here i think that's fun with a little seating area on that side but for now we just go for the hot dog squad and then we're gonna leave one so we can duplicate that in a later stage and then we're gonna go for just some water or something paper shop water let's go for a water and then on the other side, I do want to build a toilet block. Shall we just build that? Well, I, I want to have a toilet block right over here in the back, right behind the restaurant. So maybe I will just put one down over there already. And then we're going to add an information booth. And I think, can I just squeeze that in here? Yes, we can. Okay, that's perfect. I think I'm just going to put you for now somewhere over here uh i i don't think that i want to go for merchandise just yet I, I think we're gonna be good 
if we do it like this. One more thing that we should not forget is, of course, some ATMs, which is something I would always forget. But I think I got this. I think I learned a lot from the previous series that we did. So I think we're going to be good. Uh, I'm going to make this one. What? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's hard to see with the rain. <laughs> uh, ooh, no, no. I just want you like a, a brownish color. And then maybe just change the blue to something green or something. Okay. I think I'm just gonna put you just just for now. How do what uh, what do they cost? Okay, 250. Okay, let's have two ATMs right over there. Okay, so I think we kind of have the bases going on right over here. And then if I just check the power, oh actually power. <laughs> Power is already a thing. You know what we could do? We could squeeze in some power right over here, but I'm actually not really sure if that would cover too much of what we need. So, wait. Oh, oh, I still have AT. That is why. Okay, if I would put you here, you would not cover enough. So, oh man, it's hard to see. Stupid rain. I'm gonna squeeze you in. Where's the front? Okay, somewhere over here for now, but you are definitely going to be moved. But for now, we can live with that. So I'm just gonna put you and connect you just straight to this path, like so. And now we should be able, because there are already some meerkats in here, right? Okay, we have meerkat. And then we can put that one on Mirka, and then we're just gonna... Oh wait, can I just make this a little tiny bit bigger so it covers the path on this side? I think that's good. And then we're gonna do the same and we're gonna move you to this side. So both the path will be covered with the educational speaker for the Mirka. So if we now check this one as well, this one is exactly covering this path as well. So for now, I think this is enough education. We could potentially also go for like the um, uh, animal talking point, but I, I feel like we should start detailing first. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at least we are getting some guests in here, which is a really good thing. And I think they're <laughs> going to buy some umbrellas. Shall we just make them more expensive? Audio guide. Adoption pack, blue umbrella, green umbrella. No, they're already five bucks. I, I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Okay, we can actually uh, let them pay to uh, get some money from the ATM. Uh, oh, 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 we actually do not have any bins here. So I'm just going <laughs> to squeeze in some bins on all these sides here as well. There are already bins around there, so that should not be a problem. I got another bin there, and you know what? I think these guests also would like to sit down somewhere. So we're just gonna squeeze in some benches right over here, but obviously, as I said, there, there's going to be a little seating area right over there as soon as we have the restaurant. Now, I, I'm not entirely sure if it's like better to do shops or better to do a restaurant, um, I think it's it gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so we have some meerkats right over here. We still have $9,000 left. I do wanna make sure that we have a work zone with all the buildings in here and our staff to be selected to the everything work roster. So that all should be good by now. So now let's just go and start detailing this area as much as we can with the amount of money. Maybe I will let the game run just for a little bit just to see if we can earn a little bit extra money to really make a beautiful habitat in here.
the habitat is almost done. I wanted to lay down a few more locks, but hey, big spender lady here. <laughs> but oh my goodness, look at this. I connected one of the pillows with the pearl. And this is just too funny. <laughs> I saw that little meerkat had peeking uh peeking towards this uh this camera it's so funny i love it I, it's in the small little details but the rain is just terrible i'm glad for these guests that i at least gave them like if they want to you, you could just wait here you know in, instead of like uh, getting your umbrella if you even have one and uh oh look there's <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> That's so funny. I really like it that they added this little animation to these webcams. Absolutely love it. So, you know, actually, this is the first time I'm using this big water troll. And I put it down and I was like, Ugh, I really don't know if this is going to be something. But if you cover it with some rocks and stuff, it's not that bad really I, I do hope that they are able to use it let me just show you guys around okay the tickets are on the prize let's just right away fix something about that because we can earn a little bit more money faster with that so okay pause and then we're gonna say two dollars up and then I'm gonna see what the parents are gonna say. I'm not really sure. Um, zoo ticket price is fair. Okay, so I, I think I should just lower it with one. I, I think that's exactly the balance then that they will be uh, saying that it's great. Right, okay. So it's, it's not a big habitat. It's exactly the right size that we went for. Well, uh, not exactly. Where is the mic? <laughs> Where are you guys? I just had one clicked and now I don't see you guys. Well, maybe we should just unpause the game anyways because then we will be earning some money and hopefully it will stop raining. Like, I, I didn't know that I don't have to, like, give them shelters, but I mean, it's just cold, especially because they are able to go through these rocks right over here. So I, I absolutely love that. So I went for some some small little shelters anyways. Just look how cute this looks. It's really not bad, actually. Uh, so yeah, okay, let me just show. It's It stops raining, finally. So they have a little shelter right over here, and they can go all the way to the back right there. And then they also have this little uh, sprinkler thingy to play with. If they're able to reach it, I think they can. There's one burrow right away over here, a little bit hidden. And then there's another burrow right away over here. And then we have a shelter right away over here, which I I don't know if they're going to use that. Like, they have burrows now. But it's just a cool little feature that the guests would be able to see them in here. Uh, peeking through these little rocks right over here. It's more on eye level for the kids. But I, I still do like that. Also, did use this statue because, I don't know, it's just a cool statue. And uh, I, I think it works right over here at the uh, at the side of this, this uh, viewing gallery. And even though we didn't have to, like, I, I made this the um, uh, one-sided glass. Even though I, I don't really think that we're going to have that many issues with these... Um, meerkats and stress but I, I think it's gonna be fine let's just make sure that this one will work we only have one educational talk we do not have an educator so let's make sure that you can do your thing and i'm going to put you in the everything roster if i'm correct everything should be in everything let's just make sure that it is perfect so money is coming in very slowly. Obviously, we only have the first animals and we did use like this little half gate, which I'm so happy with. It's it's definitely making a difference with the two meter uh, high gates. OK, there we go. Perfect. So 99 percent, which is just perfect. Last meal quality. We can actually go up here because we already did. Oh, no, we did not do research. 
Which were the mirror cuts? <gasps> oh no, we need to do that. We need to fix that. Okay, you are gonna do research for the mirror cut. In case you are wondering, um, <laughs> like, here. Okay, I put a lot of bins in the rocks and the same goes for donation boxes. So they are there. They, you can't you can't see them. Uh, for those of you that are watching me for a while now, they know that, you, that I, blah, 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 I don't like the donation boxes. And if I can hide them, I will hide them. So yes, they are like the bins. I can, I can just remove this one. But as you can see, you still sometimes, I, I obviously put, put down like donation bins and stuff. So it snaps sometimes, but you can hide it away. If you can, just hide it away. You can even hide it away in here, which is actually also really nice. So yeah, that is how I do that with donation bins because I'm not really a fan of them, unfortunately. <laughs> I really wish we could have some smaller ones. Now I do wish to, to see how that water area works. That should be working with the traversal area. So I think they are able to drink from there. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the staff is able to walk here, but I mean, why would they not be able to go over here? Is this one filled? It's not even filled. We also have a feeding plate right over here, a little bit hidden in the ground, so it's not like too obvious. And we have these bamboo feeders. There's one over here. Are you going to... It. No, I'm pretty sure that you should be walking here with a watering can or something like that to fill with water. I'm not really sure if you need to go back for that to the keeper's hut or not. You're at least filling this with food, which is good, but I, I would like you to uh, <laughs> hurry up a little bit more and show me if you're going to fill that with water. Uh, it's still urgently assigned. So you are still working, but I just do not know. There's a lot of poop time to clear up the habitat. My pay is pretty good. Going to prepare food. I'm over the moon with the job. Ah, look, 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 look. There she goes. Perfect. Okay, so that's 40? Wait, 450 liters? Wow, that's perfect. And the meerkats are able to use that. So the food, food is good. Yes. All seems to work pretty well. So, oh, 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 look at that. Aw, that was such a cute little hug. <laughs> Did it work though? Oh, no, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But, uh, well, maybe, uh, oh no, these are the same. Well, maybe, maybe in the future, very near future, things will go a little bit better. I'm not really sure. If we need to check on the maze, like I'm not really sure how good. Okay, 80%. I see 88%. Right. Okay, that should definitely not be any issue. So let's have one look right over here if everything is going well. Well, obviously it is because it's not super busy. Uh, actually, everything is closed. Wait, did I not hire any vendors? I have three vendors and they are all <laughs> resting right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I should hire two more vendors, at least two. So they can, can so do I need to hire three? Not entirely sure we should do that because that is like a lot of vendors. So I'm just gonna put them in the everything Ross area one. Uh, this is only one educator and you are having a really high workload. Uh, maybe we should give this restroom a perk that things are going a little bit... Okay, staff will be more resilient against being overworked. I think that is already the one that I was looking for. Resting here will recover energy slightly faster. You know what? I'm actually gonna go for this one instead. I feel like we should do that because we have a little bit of money, so what we could do is actually also train our staff. It's 820. I think that might be a good thing. So they will be 
ready to be working in our lovely mini zoo that we have. I mean, look at this. That's a mini habitat. I, I think this is gonna work awesome. Like we're gonna have around let's say 20 African animals or so so it's it's really not going to be super big but we're gonna make it nice and pretty <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm actually really excited definitely about this very first habitat it actually did work pretty well with paying attention to uh, the size that they would need like Obviously, right now they have 100 square meters too much. So we did pay attention to uh, any uh, new babies in the future. <laughs> At least I hope. I really hope you will do your best. Oh, are you going to drink some water? I have not seen them using this yet. Okay, this is <laughs> looking a little, little bit odd. Can we maybe just remove that rock? <laughs> Can we just maybe just add like... A, a few smaller rocks here instead. Oh, look, that one's just walking through it. I was wondering, like, would they be playing with this one? I never used this one, so so maybe they would. I look, I don't know. This looks really cute. I like this. And you like it too. Like, it's a little bit cooler probably right over here. <laughs> Absolutely love it. What do you have here? Fat research complete. That's always perfect. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job. Well, guys, it's time to wrap it up right over here. Do let me know in the comments down below what do you all think of this new very first meerkat habitat in our tropical African mini zoo series. Do let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.